Welcome to Pop Turnitin, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, a.k.a. PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnitin Podcast. It's the podcast where we have digital discussions, the worlds of pop culture, digital media. I'm really pleased to be joined by an actress. She is nominated for her role in a film called Boost. We're with Olunike Adeli. Olunike, yeah. welcome to Pop Turnitin. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, nominated for Best Supporting Actress for uh, Canadian Screen Award. I mean, it just must be an exciting time all around. It is. It's really wonderful how the film was embraced. I mean, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better reception. And I mean, I never really expected a nomination. You know, it's just something that you go in and you do and you do good work. And it's a story that needs to be told. So we, we never really had that on our mind. We were just what was important to us is that we captured um, this community, this neighborhood, um, Park X and um, and this story, this very special immigrant story. And so, yeah, I mean, it's a bonus to get a nomination. So that's very exciting that people have recognized um, our work. It's an exciting time for Canadian film and television. There's no doubt about that. You're seeing kind of every every year it gets better and better, more contents out there. And, and you're you're part of that movement per se you're part you you've been in you've you've been in some fantastic canadian shows like flashpoint working moms and it's just getting bigger and better how does that make you feel to essentially be part of this like because there's so much amazing content out there made um in canada by canadians yeah yeah it, there is it makes me feel very excited for the future you know i'm very Absolutely. excited for um um, the, not just the, the, the performances, the content, but that we're laying this platform for really great artists to come in, you know, because I mean, it's, it's such a hard role. This industry is not easy, but it's, it's the challenge is wonderful. And to be able to open doors for younger artists coming in, I think that's a, quite something. So yeah, this is a wonderful time. We've got Black Panther out, we've got, a wrinkle in time coming. We've we've got some amazing stuff happening. So to be a part of that, to, for Boost to be a part of that, I think it's and we're honored. No, it, it, it's it's amazing. What kind of this? When did you kind of decide that you wanted to be a storyteller on the big screen? Was there oh. a like? Was there some literature or some specific content or a movie that you saw or you read or you watched yeah. and you were like, wow, this is what I want to do? Yeah. I mean, I think it picked me in a weird way. Mm. Like it just picked me um, because I mean, I came up kind of doing stuff on stage when I was um, being raised by my grandparents in Jamaica. And so I used to do a lot of stuff at, in the church, like with choirs and the the church plays and stuff. And then when I came back to Canada, because I was born here, mm -hmm. when I came back to Canada, um, my teacher and I think it, about, it was about grade six, my music teacher um, saw that I was active and I had a really beautiful singing voice. So she had me try out for the play and kind of like the rest is history since then. Um, but the, I think the movie that really kind of grabbed to me to say, oh my gosh, I need to tell stories was Boys in the Hood. Mm -hmm. That's I, a great movie. Right, like I was shocked. I was shocked. I only knew my own experiences, um, a young black girl, and I'd never really known anything about America. And um, so when I saw that, it, it just even to this day, I think I've watched it. I don't know, almost a hundred times, and it just grabbed me. And I couldn't believe that performers were doing this, and also that this content. I had no, no. I don't think the world really knew mm -hmm. at this point, like on screen this life and yeah. so to, yeah so then from then i just got the bug and i just pursued my dreams went to theater school in new york and came back and was like who's on the train who's on the train because it's moving and and now the shift with digital content olunike yeah. will allow everyone to see those stories and have more access to those stories that they necessarily wouldn't and uh it wouldn't be as accessible in the past and what i find interesting is you know social media is, is becoming a really big part in um 
for the lives of storytellers like yourself. Um, it, it, it It's a way to interact with fans. It's a way to kind of network and everything. Um, yeah. you, you can kind of definitely see that there's, you know, some double-edged swords because everyone has a voice, which could be seen as a good thing. But, you know, the other thing is everyone has a voice, so it could be seen yeah. as a negative. Um, how, have you, how are you as, you know, an actress um, dealing with social media on the day-to-day? Is it a big part of your life? Do you kind of just have it on the side, kind of just as like a little sidekick? Like, how are you dealing with social media? Well, I mean, it is, it's it's a beast of its own. I didn't grow up in it, mm-hmm. right? Because I'm of, of a different generation, but um, but the, still the generation X has to kind of get with it and it's okay. That's okay. I've, I fought against it for a very long time because I really enjoy my privacy. Yep. And um, I mean, I just got an iPhone. I just became a part of the iPhone world literally a week and a half ago. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? Welcome, like, yeah. you're 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 with us now. <laughs> right, I got it going. I got an X and everything, and I was like hyperventilating with the cost. I was like, "What is this?" But okay, because <laughs> I was tired of showing up on set, and everybody's like, "Is that a flip phone? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't you make any money?" And I was like, "It's not that. I just didn't want to be part of it all." But you know. Now I'm having so much fun, and now I'm addicted. Thank you, <laughs> universe. I'm like straight addicted to like just capturing um, the moments of my 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 acting life behind the scenes because there's so much fun stuff happening. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of jealous that everyone else is capturing this and I'm not. So yeah, I'm I'm I think I'm navigating it well because people have also been very positive with me. Oh, I have had too much negative stuff, I would say when it knock, comes knock to knock on wood. Knock on wood. I'm sure <laughs> it happened, but I think I'm in a place of a very positive place as a human being anyway that I don't think I would be engaging in that negative energy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, I have to ask it because it is a double-edged sword. You know, there's the good and the bad about the social media. You know what? And I, I'm totally respectful that everyone has an opinion. Yeah, absolutely. And that, you know, and that opinion, um, if I don't agree with it, I, I can understand it. I can, I, you know, I don't know if I would respect it completely, but I can respect that you have a voice and, um, and also respect that we can be different and we can have different opinions. We're here to talk about Boost. We're here to talk about a film that you recently started in. But I want to kind of shift towards a little bit towards television because I think it's a really big time for television as well. And like I mentioned, Working Moms, Flashpoint. I believe you were on an episode of Killjoys. <laughs> I believe, yeah. I believe, yeah. That's that. I, I've had, I've had a few um, starts on that sh- uh, show on our show. Tamsin McDonough's been on, on our show as well. Yes, Tamsin is a good friend. She's awesome. She is awesome. She's amazing. So, and there's so many amazing shows um, coming out there. Those shows I mentioned, you know, are Canadian shows. But what I find interesting is, you know, when you grow up and someone's like, "Oh, what do you want to be when you grow up?" And you're like, "I want to be a movie star." I yes. want to be in movies. It's still yes. true. But now you have people saying, like, I want to be a TV star. I want to be in a show that's on Netflix. I feel like that's a shift that no one's oh, really yeah. talking about, right? Maybe yeah. people said, yeah, I'll do some, I'll be a film star and I'll do some TV. But TV is becoming its own beast. Mm-hmm. And I want I wanted to know with a lot of the shows that you've done and especially with like Netflix and the syndications where Canadian shows are not just a kind of in this cage, they can kind of get let loose and get international distribution. Um, it's a really good time. How are you feeling about the evolution and the shifts of television as a as an actress and a storyteller? I love it. I think because it gives us more content to work with. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. And you definitely have to sift through so many TV shows. But what I love about that movement is that especially with um, web series and and Netflix and and being and having access to these giant um, networks is that we get to see content in other countries, parts of the world. You know, like I'm watching Swedish film. I'm watching film. I'm watching or just TV. I'm watching television shows from Israel or Africa, and I think that's—I mean—that's beyond my wildest dreams. Who knew that we would get here, right? Oh, yeah, so exactly. I embrace all of it. Absolutely, I think it's a really good move. And you know that TV too—it's being written really well. It is like, in a sense of like it—it's like great content that it could be cinematic. 
It, 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 it will. I mean, it's funny you mentioned that. One of my favorite shows on TV right now, and if you have not watched it, you got to check it out, is The Shy on Showtime. Oh, well, of course. I actually I actually went in for that. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I did. It is just it's it's fun enough because you say that the like it could be a movie like it feels like a movie. It's like it's so the production value of it is mm-hmm. incredible. The colors and it's just an insane the ensemble cast. Like I'm a big fan of ensemble cast. Like I love a show where you have like a bunch of characters and they intertwine from time to time. Like I'm a big fan of that. And it's just nonstop. And every day there seems to be a new show I've never heard of. Everyone's like you gotta check out. Like I can't keep up. Right, it's a gift. It's like it's it's a wonderful gift, and that's that I'm saying. Like these, um, you know, entertainment mediums have allowed us to be able to cat to catch and watch shows like The Shy. You know, and there's so many. There are so many. Like Black Mirror. Like, come on. So good. Yeah, it's good. So good. It's like a mini movie every episode. You get to see different actors every episode, which is really great because they're really sifting through and really trying to find some really great artists. So, I mean, it's just an exciting time to be alive when it comes to film and television. We have our own, you know, as content creators, we have kind of our own goals that we set for for ourselves. And every day we kind of aspire to achieve these goals and get better and better. Um, talk a little bit about some of the goals that you set for yourself in 2018 and, you know, we're like two months in, have, are, are you on track to maybe hitting that goals or are there a couple of goals? Like talk a little bit about what you're kind of expecting from 2018. Um, well, I have a lot on my plate, a lot on my I, plate. I, I, I can tell. Like, yeah, like I move, like I just finished production on something. I'm just moving into another production, um, starting Tuesday, and kind of balancing that with um, all the CSA events that's going to be happening. Um, then there's another thing to another kind of like I, I can't give it too much, but I'm in training with kung fu, muay thai, boxing, and some ballet for uh, an action thriller sci-fi martial arts that thing that's happening it sounds this amazing. year it so sounds like, awesome <laughs> yeah like you know like it's just it's already been an impactful year because we even started out with the drop in a short that was at tiff that was featured as canada's top 10 so i'm still coming off of that Absolutely. um so yeah 2018 is pretty great and i'm balancing it with university because i went back to university so I, I study um, like I'm aiming to I'm aiming for my psychology degree um, it, at UFT. So I balance going to school full time and work full time. So I think 2018 something's going to happen. No, absolutely. That, <laughs> no, that's great. I mean, um, I uh, I did uh, I, I did my master's uh, in communications at Carleton in Ottawa. Yeah. And I ended up, uh, and then I was doing a lot of these side little things. Like I was, I was working a little bit and I was blogging and writing and doing my podcast and balancing it. I, I balanced it, but it was the hardest thing. You seem to be able to balance it. So I, I even, even if you're going to say, uh, maybe no, it's, you're doing a good job. I can tell well, you're doing a good job. You know, I had to admit first off that I'm a procrastinator. You know, we all are though. Come on, oh, man. And we all like, are. I love to chill out. You know, but like, it's part of our. It's hu- It's part of human. It's part of our every day. I mean, there's gonna be times where you have appointments, but you had yeah. life's gonna throw you a curveball where you're so tired because you have to deal with something mm-hmm. for an hour one day, and it's just like, oh, three hours later, you gotta do something else. You're just like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, it's part of. It's part. Of, it's gonna happen. You gotta like okay. when when push comes to shove, you have to deal with it, but. Absolutely. Like I have to have charts on my walls in my bedroom. Buy an iPhone. Check. <laughs> <laughs> well, I write and like accomplished that. And like, you know, my friends and family were like, thank God, because this is going to make life so much easier for you. It's business too, right? And so, yeah, I keep everything on track. Like today I have to finish like a crazy psychology quiz and also really start like a major paper on um, like my African studies class where I study the women in film in Nigeria. So that's like a huge paper that I have to write. Well, I'm honored that you you took some time out of your schedule to talk to me. 
<laughs> it's all good. You know what? I'm a workaholic. I always have been. And it's just like once the work starts, I'm good. And Absolutely. I'm happy. That's the that's the thing. The energy is always in a great place. And um, I, I, I'm also like a mentor to so many people. So I know that I have to, you know, set a standard for myself. Oh, absolutely. You know? you know, influence and, and inspire others. But I also take a lot of time for myself, you know? I'm looking forward to the next trip, which is like right after exams. I gotta head to Jamaica and like just chill out. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, I think I think we'll wrap up, but Olenike, thank you so much for coming on the show. Seriously, you are wonderful. Congrats on all your success. Um, you. I had a great time chatting with you. Yes. Um, I hope you get to see Boost. It's like boost. yeah, absolutely. I, I plan on it. Yeah, it drops nationwide March second, mm -hmm. so you everyone will be able to see it in theaters and and take a, and also catch um, Darken, which is another sci-fi that'll be dropping this spring. So there's lots of really great stuff happening. It's a great time. Plug away. Where can people follow you on social media? Oh yeah, you can follow me at Olunike Adeli. Um, you can also follow me because I'm um, on at Olunike Fitness because like I, you know, I got to show Fitness. everyone or, like give tips on how I keep myself together, um, healthy mind, body, soul. Also follow me on Twitter at Olunike Adeli on, on Twitter and uh, or just even Ol at Olunike. You'll be able to find me on social media. I'm here. I have joined and I'm I've arrived and I'm happy. Um, but yeah. You guys like check it out. Awesome. Well, check out the line lost in Toronto. <laughs> uh, sh sh shameless plug, eh? I am Toronto born, <laughs> proud to be Canadian, and you guys gotta like check out this line. It's absolutely wonderful. Perfect. Well, this has been Popternative, um, youtube.com slash Popternative, and you can follow us, you can get us, uh, get our audio only versions on iTunes or wherever else you listen to podcasts. Until next time, this is Olonike Adeli and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.